Hi, I'm Dr. John McCallick. I'm an assistant professor of accountancy at University College Dublin. I published a book on introductory financial accounting using IFRS that you can download at the link below. This playlist of videos explains all the important concepts and techniques that are in the book and that you will need to prepare basic financial statements. I've included a, a link to the uh, playlist of videos uh, below as well. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you found this content helpful. This presentation is about accounting for VAT. So how does the VAT system work? Well, businesses have to pay VAT on all of their sales. So goods with a selling price of 100 euro will have a VAT added of 23%. Um, now, that's not quite true. There are certain goods and services that are at different rates of VAT and certain goods and services that are exempt from uh, VAT. Um, and we won't, we won't be dealing with those kind of uh, goods in this section. The customer for those goods will have to pay 123 in cash. Um, they, you know, they pay the VAT as well as the selling price, and that is received by the original company. So that goes to the seller at the 123, and some of that 123 needs to be paid over to the revenue. If the customer that we're talking about here is a consumer, so that's somebody who's going to consume the goods, then they bear the cost of the VAT. They can't claim it back off anybody and they just pay uh, the VAT. So when you go into a shop and you buy some clothes or some groceries, uh, you will be paying VAT on those goods. Uh, and if you look carefully at your uh, receipt, you'll see that VAT. However, consumers don't really care about it because um, it's just part of the cost of the goods. They can't claim it back from anybody. If the customer is another business, then things are slightly different. Um, they can claim back the VAT that they have paid on their purchases and expenses from um, uh, or set it against the VAT that they're paying on their sales. Um, so they will claim back that 23 euro or VAT as what we call an input credit against uh, the VAT that they pay on their sales. And uh, we'll now see how this uh, works through the value chain works. So this is the VAT system. Um, supposing you've got a manufacturer and they have sales of 100, let's say the goods start with the manufacturer, there's no inputs that are relevant for VAT. Um, the VAT's going to be at 23%, uh, total sales price is 123. Now, that manufacturer has no input credits, which is what we call a VAT on um, uh, purchases. Uh, so they have to pay over the 23 euro of VAT that they collect from the distributor uh, over to the revenue commissioner. So the revenue commissioners get 23 euro of VAT from that company, the manufacturer. So the goods move to the distributor and they cost the distributor 20, 123 with uh, 23 euro of VAT included in that 123. Let's say they sell the goods onwards for 150 to the retailer. Um, the VAT on that is going to be 3450, which is 23% of 150. And the total sales price is going to be 18450, which includes some as uh, you know profit margin for the distributor and also includes some VAT. Um, and the amount of VAT payable in this case, though, is only 1150. And that is because it is the difference between the 3450 and the 23. So it's 3450 minus 23 equals 1150. So they pay over the, the difference between the VAT on their sales 
minus the VAT on their purchases. Then let's suppose the goods move on to the retailer. It costs the retailer 184.50. Uh, the VAT on the input VAT is 34.50. Sales, let's say they sell the goods for 220. That the VAT on that is going to be 5060. Uh, so the total sales price to the consumer is 270.60. Um, now uh, the VAT that they need to pay over to the revenue is 1610, which is the difference between the 5060 and the 3450. Um, and you will see that these three items here added up come to 5060, which is also the total amount of, of, of VAT paid by the consumer. So the consumer pays 270.60 for the goods. That's just the price as far as the consumer is concerned. Consumers don't really care how much VAT is in them, in their goods, although you will see it on every VAT invoice you get in a, in a shop. Uh, you'll see the amount of VAT, um, but you can't claim it back from anybody, so you don't care about it. So uh, the total price is 270.60. They pay that um, and that 50 60 of VAT is paid by these uh, three steps in the supply chain um, at, uh, at these points in the supply chain. And the net effect of all of this is that the government gets 50 60 um, of VAT for that uh, transaction. So the calculation of VAT due to the revenue is VAT on revenue minus VAT on expenses um, or including purchases equals the VAT due to the revenue commissioners. And obviously this is, you know, a huge simplification of the VAT system. There's a lot more to it, um, uh, but this gives you a, a, a quick introduction to uh, VAT. Also, it, it needs to be remembered that in financial statements, sales and purchases that you will see in the income statement are VAT exclusive. So we don't include VAT in the sales and purchases and expenses that you see in the income statement. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you found this content helpful. Bye.